Just before we get started, I'll talk very briefly about exporting to a movie. Now, you're about to watch this video about animations and transitions, but at the end of the day, you're going to be exporting this keynote as a movie. So, before you do all these cool animations, the first thing you should do is put audio in every slide of your keynote and put a transition for every slide in your keynote. Make the audio delayed with one second uh, and automatic. Make the transition automatic with a one second delay. Then export it as a movie for a test run. And make sure that all works before you start playing around with animations. Then when you are successful at that, go to page one, do some animations, export it as a movie again and make sure it works. Don't do your whole book and then try to export it as a movie because it's, uh, if you have an issue, you're not going to know where that issue is. So do it bit by bit. Make sure that between uh, exporting your movies, you delete the old movie in your trash and you delete it from your trash so that way your iPad doesn't become full storage. Good luck. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a book using Keynote and mainly how to time your animations and transitions so that it looks like a, a, a nice little book. So I'm always going to choose white background because I have more creativity and more freedom and I always delete these two straight away so I'm left with a blank canvas. Now the first thing I always do is get the next page ready so that you can practice your transition into the next page. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, type my story. You always want the story to be the first thing that's completely finished. Um, otherwise, if you change the story and you've got objects, you're going to have to change the objects and you have to do the whole thing all over again. So I'm going to say Tom walked towards his friend. And then make sure there's a full stop at the end of that. So I can play around with the fonts and colors later. And let's not worry about it. So. Tom walked towards his friend. Now let's go to people and let's add uh, Tom there and let's add his friend here. <clears throat> now on this page I just want Tom to walk towards his friend and then I want to transition to the next page. I also want my voice read. So there's two animations happening, audio, walking and then a transition to the next slide. So let's do the audio first, <clears throat> plus, and then let's go to photos, record audio. Now, I want to give myself a small space before I start speaking and a small space after I finish speaking. So when I push record, I'm not going to speak straight away uh, because I don't want to cut anything off by accident. Tom walked towards his friend. So you see I've got a bit of a silent gap here and I've got a bit of a silent gap there. That way the person who's watching your story is able to let all the information sink in before the transition to the next page. So that goes for almost six seconds. So insert. And I can put that anywhere. So Tom walks towards his friend. Everything's set up now. Now I need to do all my animation. So the first thing on my next page, I'm just going to... Uh, I always do this for no real reason. I just change the color of the background so that way I can clearly see when the page is turning. So I know yellow page, it's completely done. Now, first thing I'm going to do is the audio needs to be the first thing to, to, to happen. So I tap on this and then I say animate. Then I'm going to say um, start audio build in. And I don't want it on tap. I want it to happen after... The, the presentation starts and I always give it a one second delay. Again, I want the person who is watching my story to look at the page for at least a second or two before the story starts reading to them. I want them to see what the setting is, the characters, all before they start hearing the audio. So one second after transition. Now I'm going to tap on my Tom, add action, and I'm going to move Tom. So I have to say create path. Now I'm going to make it a straight line, otherwise it follows my fingers. And I'm going to just pull him straight towards his friend like that. Done. Now he moves way too fast. So i got to click on motion path again. Now I don't want it to be on tap. Now you have the option here. Do you want Tom to move after you finished reading? 
or do you want him to move uh, while you're reading? So I want me to read the sentence the same time Tom is walking towards his friend. I don't want there to be, uh, let's give it a little delay actually. Let's give it a half a second delay. Now I want to change the speed on how that happens. So to change the speed, I have to go to uh, duration. Now I'm going to change that to the audio went for just under six seconds. So let's make that five seconds because it'll it'll uh, have a half a second delay. So they'll finish around the same time. So now let's have a look and see what that looks like. Done. And I'm going to push play. Tom walked towards his friend. Okay, so the next thing is the transition. So this one you have to be careful of. The transition is at the end of the slide, not the beginning. So if I want the page to turn, I have to be on this page to make the transition because it happens at the end. So I go to transition, I go to add transition, and I go to page flip. And then I've used page flip before, so it's at the front, but if not, I have to go all the way across and find page flip. Where is it? Uh, page, there it is there, page flip. So it will look like that. I don't want it on tap, I want it after the previous build. So I click on page flip again, I don't want it on tap, I want to click on on tap and I want to make it automatic and again I'm going to give it one second delay because I want everything to finish and for the the person who's watching the video to let everything sink in and then turn the page. So let's go back, uh, the page will turn from one second, it goes from right to left, excellent. Let's see how it looks, done. Tom walked towards his friend. So there you have it. There ha that's how you do a bit of animation and a transition to make your book really look like a book.